Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV, a station where you watch, interact and also learn. Your tutor today is Mr. Wanyoike, an agriculture teacher. In today's lesson, we are in form 4, lesson 2, and the topic is uh, poultry production, and the subtopic is composition of an egg, and also we are going to check on selection and care for eggs which are meant for breeding. On to the lesson uh, objective, uh, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to, uh, number one, explain the composition of an egg, and number two, explain the functions of parts of an egg, and number three, explain the characteristic uh, for, of eggs for incubation. Uh, the first, um, uh, the, we have a structure there for chicken egg, uh, or egg uh, which uh, belongs to a uh, Pottery. Uh, the first part we have the germino disc, and the second one is the yolk. Uh, the germino uh, disc is the one uh, which uh, forms the embryo, and while the yolk is the part uh, which is the yellow in color and normally uh, rich, it is rich in uh, protein, uh, which uh, uh, act as a food reserve for the uh, developing chick when the during uh, incubation period. Then uh, we have uh, the other part is the albumen or egg white. Uh, the albumen or egg white is the uh, it is also a food reserve which is rich in carbohydrates and therefore it also provide a food to the developing uh, embryo. Then we have uh, the, the the disc I said that is the embryo and this is the one which normally uh, develop into a uh, an embryo and uh, then develop into a from embryo it develops into a chick and the other part is the charaza uh, and, and the charaza is uh, it, it, there it is a tw uh, twisted cord and it appears on both sides of the egg and therefore it is suspend the yoking position and also another function it is to transfer the heat uh, from the developing embryo to the outside when there is excess heat and if there is low heat into the uh, uh, into the chick during development it will transfer the heat from the outside into the inside of the of the developing uh, uh, chick then we have the air air, uh, air space and the air space or air cell it is a, a cell which is filled with air uh, and this air is utilized during a uh, development of the chick because the chick normally require oxygen uh, for respiration to take place so that it can have the energy for growth and development then we'll go to uh, the eggs incubation and this refer to the development of fertilized egg into a chick when the eggs are subjected to the correct conditions that ensure chicks are hatched from the egg and the uh, the, the correct condition include uh, the the optimum uh, uh, humidity and also the optimum temperature uh, they are supposed to be provided for the egg to hatch the into a chick then we have the characteristic for eggs which are meant for incubation and uh, number one uh, they should be fertilized and number two should be of medium size they are not supposed to be uh, big in size or small in size but they are supposed to be medium in size then the third one should have a smooth shell that uh, the shell should not be rough uh, then number four should be oval in shape and therefore, for those eggs which are over in shape, they have a high level of uh, hatchability. Then for those which are round in shape, uh, they have a low uh, rate of hatchability. And then also they are supposed to be free from cracks. Remember, if they have a crack, uh, it will uh, allow the pathogen to get into the uh, into the developing uh, embryo uh, during uh, chick de uh, development, and also it will uh, it will allow the air to get out, and therefore uh, making sh uh, making that uh, the, ch the developing chick uh, to die as a result of deficit or insufficient. Uh, air supply. Then we have should be clean. Yes, uh, they, are, they are supposed to be clean because uh, they will encourage free circulation of air inside and outside during the uh, chick development. Then number seven should not have any abnormality. Uh, for example, double yolk. It is, they are not supposed to be double yolked uh, because uh, those eggs which are double yolk uh, cannot uh, hatch into chick. Then we have uh, the age. Uh, the eggs which are supposed to be uh, kept for incubation, they are supposed to have lasted uh, less than uh, two weeks. And therefore those uh, eggs which have 
uh, they are old, they were hatched um, for so many days, uh, they have low level of hatchability and therefore you can see uh, the caras there, the caras are there, the medium size uh, eggs, I've shown them using these images and we have come to the end of today's lesson and I'm going to mark this uh, by giving you assignment in form of questions number one. Uh, name any two types of nutrients found in the egg and number uh, two discuss the various functions of part of an egg then number three highlight any five characteristic of eggs for incubation then for reference you can refer from secondary agriculture student book to and the uh, publisher is the Kenya Literature Bureau. For more information, you can reach us at LMTV using the following addresses. The first one, you can use SMS using that number. Then you can use the YouTube and also you can use the Facebook uh, platform. And finally, you can tweet us at LMTV uh, underscore KE. Thank you for joining me in this lesson. Until next lesson, goodbye.